I'm Kean Harden. I'm here at the Heritage Society. I'm standing in the Dunkin' General store, and I've got with me a bunch of toys that have been really common in the 1800s. Um, most popular and the most simple would have been a doll. So you would have had maybe some leftover corn husk and some scraps of cloth. You would have fashioned a doll with maybe some clothing. Another popular one would have been what's called a church doll, which is where you take a cloth and you stuff it full of scrap scraps and you tie it at the neck. If your mom was feeling creative, she could have sewn a little face onto it. And the thing with this doll is that if you dropped it in church, it didn't make any noise, hence the name. Uh, another really popular toy would have been the buzzsaw. It's where you take these strings right here, you hold it out in the middle, and you just spin it really fast. And I find the trick is that once it starts to kind of pinch your fingers, that's when you know it's ready, and you can kind of... Makes a really cool noise. Probably a, a still very popular toy from this time is going to be cup and ball. Purpose is relatively simple, though the execution, not so much. But uh, yeah, so there's kind of some ways that kids from the 1800s could keep themselves entertained when they're stuck inside.